so I am back with another video. I told you guys I would try to make one soon, and here I am. Um, so, yeah, I just had some time to film today, and I said I'm going to squeeze in filming. I actually have, like, 10-15 minutes to film this video, so, yeah. Um, but I said I'm gonna do it because I really want to film it and get it up, and yeah, so... I'm going to be doing some favorites for you guys because obviously since I haven't put up a video, well I did just do my foundation routine which I will link down below, um, but you guys know since that video I haven't posted in like a month, so obviously I have some new favorites to talk about and I don't even know, it's like the middle of January, so these aren't really considered a monthly favorites, I guess these are just kind of um, favorites that I'm loving like at the moment, so I feel like my highlighter doesn't look blended. Anyways, okay, so, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right in because I kind of have a lot to talk about. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the one that I actually just did my um, video on, like I said, which I will have linked down below. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous Foundation, which I really, really like. And um, yeah, so if you want to like see it in action and see the products that I use along with it and all of that, I will, again, link it below. I think I've said that like five times. But um I really, really like this. This is an awesome full coverage foundation. Um, like I mentioned in that video, I just purchased the Kat Von D um, Lock It Tattoo Foundation. And I honestly kind of think that I like kind of like this one a little bit more. Just because this one to me, even though it is full coverage, it still looks natural. While this definitely like is foundation. Like this to me doesn't look as natural. Like, I don't know, that sounds kind of bad. Like you can tell you're wearing foundation. I think that sounds kind of bad. It's not like it's cakey, but it just isn't as natural looking, I would say, as this one. This one, you can get away with um, not looking like you're wearing foundation, if that makes sense. So anyways, um, I really love this. And again, I'm still kind of deciding how I feel about this. I'm wearing it right now, and I don't hate it, but I just kind of think I do prefer the CoverGirl one. So if you guys, like I said in my last video, want a foundation routine and review and all that with this, let me know and I can do that. Um, okay, so for eyeshadows, I just recently got this for my birthday from a very special guy, and um, I really, really love it. It's the Naked 3 by Urban Decay, and it's really awesome. This is definitely my favorite out of all of them. Um, the Naked 2, I I would say the Naked 1 is my second favorite, and the Naked 2 is definitely my least favorite, especially since I've gotten this. I've realized that the more, like... Um, cool toned eyeshadows just don't really flatter my eye my like eye color and my skin tone as much as like the rose gold and warmer tones do so I love this this is freaking awesome I'm wearing these um, shadows on my eyes today and I wore them also in my last video and it's just they're really good like I'll open it in case in case you guys haven't seen the inside of it I'm sure all of you have but um, that's what it looks like this color right here in the middle um, that that one that I've like used a crap out of like it's just it's really awesome like definitely my favorite I think out of all of them it's the color um, what is it trick which is gorgeous so yeah um, my next favorite is the um, benefit pore professional this has like been talked about so much on YouTube so I kind of I won't get into it too much because I'm sure you guys have heard a ton about it already but it's just a really awesome um, primer and before I got this I was actually using the Tarte Poreless which I since I've gotten this I've realized that this is just so much better um, the Tarte Poreless is like the Tarte just kind of like blurs it as where the as where I don't even know if that makes sense <laughs> but the pore professional like um, pore professional not pore professional actually like like fills them in and so I just like you can just see the difference after using this. This is just a much better product to me. Um, this is still good, but again, I think that this one is better. So, yeah. Um, okay, my next favorite, uh, going into like lip products, is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm Stain in uh, Standout. Again, I saw this on YouTube. I got this because Megan Rosette wore this all the time in her videos, and I love her red lip. She can just really pull off her red lip. And since I dyed my hair darker, I have found that it is a lot harder to pull off darker lips. Um, which is another huge reason I really regret dyeing my hair darker. I really missed the lighter hair. Um, just because I found it was so much easier to pull off brighter lips. So, I got this. And this one is definitely, I would say, the most like brunette friendly red that I have found. I don't know if that really makes sense. But if any of you guys are out there um, are brunettes and kind of understand my pain... Like, in finding the right red for you, it's just kind of hard, especially when you have red in your hair. 
Um, like my my red is still kind of there um, in the undertones, so it's just kind of hard sometimes to find a red that's like flattering with that. Um, but this one really is. I think it's really nice, and just something about it just it works really well with my hair color. So I like that a lot. Okay, for bronzer, this is the NYC Sun and Bronze um, powder. I love this. This is an awesome bronzer. It's really good. I would say it's really comparable to high end. Wearing today, it gives you like a nice contour look, but you can also use it all over. Um, it's just really good. And if you're looking for a new bronzer, I recommend it. It's like $3. You can get it at like Target or drugstores. It's really, really good. Okay, for blush, this is the Smashbox blush, um, in Flush. <laughs> um, I got this because I think Makeup by Tiffany D talked about it, but I got it at a CCO. Um, I think like $14 or $15 maybe. And it's just a really, I hate, this is one thing I hate about it, is when you open it, the lid doesn't go all the way back, which kind of bugs me. But anyways, this is the color. It's just a really, if you can even see that, it's just a really nice kind of baby pink. And as you can see, I've hit pan on it, which is kind of funny because I haven't even really had this that long, but I don't know, I think I've had it maybe like two months. But I've been using it, like, constantly, so I guess that's why. But it's just a really pretty pink color. Um, it, it reminds me a little bit of Deep Throat by NARS, so if you have that one, you might not need this one. But it's still really pretty. It gives you a nice flush wearing it today again. And, um, yeah, I just really like it. Okay, for hair products, I just have one to mention. This is the Pantene Pro-V um, Repair Light Detangler. So I got this because, well, I got this... Okay, let me tell you my little mini story before I talk about this. So I, as you guys know, I've, my hair has gone through a lot if you guys have been watching me for a while. Um, I had it really light and then I dyed it red, like vibrant red. And then I, the red just wasn't stained so I decided to just go back brunette and then sl like slowly go back lighter. So I dyed it all over brown and then like two days later, after I dyed it brown, I put highlights in it. And literally pieces of my hair like were falling out as I was in the shower and when I was blow drying my hair like the ends and, and just pieces were coming out it was really devastating I was in tears um because I literally thought I was gonna be bald but um I went to the hairstylist the next day and had her like you know give me a trim and told her asked her like you know what should I do and she just recommended that I just you know concentrate on trying to keep it healthy and I told her that I had a really big problem with every time I get a shower my hair was just so tangly and she recommended a detangler which I have used before but I like this one because it says it lightly conditions as it detangles and I think it's just really really good like I used to have the hardest time with combing my hair when I got out of the shower because it was just so like tangled and just so hard to come out especially when it was really heavily highlighted so this has been really awesome I just I sprayed all over like a lot I spray a lot of it um, but I think that it was really helped when I comb out my hair because it's just like 10 times easier to comb out my hair with this stuff so really 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 like it and if you have um, highlighted hair and you have a hard time combing out your hair I recommend that for sure but um, anyways the moral to my story is I want to go lighter but I'm really scared too because I don't want any more of my hair to fall out but, um, <laughs> yeah. My next favorite for nail polish is the Sally Hansen Triple Shine Top Coat. I really, really like this. Um, I'm not really sure I can talk about the stain power of it because I actually just painted my nails yesterday and they're already chipping. But I don't know if that's a top coat's fault. <laughs> um, but I love the shininess of this. This makes my nails really, really shiny. And I have the hiccups now. Um, but anyway, so if you're looking for a new top coat, this one just came out recently. They have, like, a whole line of these. Um, like different colors and stuff, but this is our top coat and I really really like it. So yeah. Okay, I have one fashion thing to mention. If you guys notice, I'm kind of like speed talking now because I'm running late. Um, so this is a coat that I got from um, Choi's, no, C-H-O-I-S. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. I'm probably not saying it right, but I'm going to put the link down below. Um, it's a really cool website that, um, you know, has some cool different clothes on it. And I got this jacket from there, and I really like it. It has, like, a fur hood. I'll actually stand up so you guys can see a little better. Um, so, it has, it's like this green color. It's like a nice coat. This is the inside. It's, like, really, really, really warm. Like, literally, you guys, every time I wear this one, it's really cold outside. I am so warm. So, I really love that. And I love the fur. And then the cool part is, too, the hood, you can actually detach, which is really nice. But I actually really like the hood. So, this has been keeping me, like, amazingly warm this season. I really love it. Um, and, yeah. So, like I said, I'll link that down below if you guys are interested or want to check it out. And I think that's about it. So, I'm kind of out of breath now and I have to get going. But, thank you guys so much for watching and staying with me and subscribing and watching even though I haven't uploaded in forever. I really apologize. I just have 
so much going on and there's a lot of changes happening in my life right now um which has not been fun they're not good changes so um I just have a lot going on and it's just been really difficult to find time to film and to be motivated to film is also another problem so I'm just trying um to find time and to be happy I don't want to film a video when I'm like not feeling happy so yeah um, but anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. And, um, yeah, I will see you in my next one. Bye!